How does gardening help climate change? Gardening helps the environment by reducing carbon emissions. Gardening helps the environment by reducing carbon emissions. Unfortunately, the process of converting plants and organic matter to soil releases huge amounts of carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas that is harmful to the environment when it accumulates at high levels. However, gardening can reduce this accumulation by absorbing carbon dioxide through photosynthesis and halting the release from decomposition processes such as breathing or animal wastes. Additionally, some gardeners use compostable materials like dried leaves instead of plastic bags, which reduce their carbon footprint even more. Gardening also helps keep green spaces free from development to be preserved for future generations to enjoy. Though many people are skeptical about how much we will see an impact on climate change with small individual actions like planting trees or having gardens at home. Gardening is a great way to get outside and enjoy nature. Gardening is a great way to get outside and enjoy nature. Gardening can be a great workout, as well. It can help people maintain their weight or lose some pounds. It reduces stress levels by releasing endorphins, the hormones that make you feel good, in the body, and it has been shown to improve moods for those suffering from depression because tending plants gives them something to do with their hands other than sitting around feeling sorry for themselves. Think about how much more enjoyable your outdoor space will be when fresh vegetables are on hand-grown herbs near your patio. Plus, gardening is an inexpensive hobby, so you'll have money left over after buying all the supplies needed. Gardening may not seem like the most eco-friendly, but you don't know until you try it out for yourself. The answer is yes. Gardening not only provides exercise but also reduces stress levels by releasing endorphins, the hormones that make you feel good, improves moods in those who suffer from depression because they have something to do with their hands other than sitting around feeling sorry for themselves, and makes your outdoor space more pleasurable when there are fresh vegetables on hand. Growing vegetables helps reduce the need for food transportation, which in turn reduces emissions. Growing vegetables helps reduce the need for food transportation, which in turn reduces emissions. This is because plants need less water than livestock and produce more food per calorie of feed, so it takes significantly fewer resources to raise the vegetables that we consume, which also means lower energy use. Furthermore, when a farmer grows crops for consumption and sale on an open market, economies of scale allow the farmer to purchase the equipment at a reduced cost. If the farmer raises animals for their consumption and sells excess meat or milk products from those animals on an open market, they can make some money back too. Another way gardening helps with climate change is by conserving soil content. Soil has been lost due to erosion over time leading up to today's standards. The produce from gardening is healthier and more nutritious than store-bought food. The crops that come from gardening are healthier and more nutritious than store-bought food. Not only are you able to control the nutritional content of your produce, but fresh fruits and vegetables are also tastier because they have not been stored in a warehouse for weeks before supermarkets pick them up. Furthermore, home gardeners tend to grow things that don't travel well, such as leafy greens or other delicate crops, such as strawberries, which means that these farmers do not need to use harsh chemicals or pesticides on their plants since there's no risk of them being harmed while traveling from where it was grown to where it will be sold at market. Gardening can be a social activity that brings people together. Gardening can be a social activity that brings people together. It's a chance for neighbors to share in the benefits of each other's work, and it can be an opportunity for children, teens, adults, seniors, and everyone else to enjoy healthy outdoor activities under the sun year-round. Gardening is also good for your health. Studies have shown gardening may improve mood and lower blood pressure, reduce chronic pain from arthritis or fibromyalgia, help with insomnia, provide additional exercise opportunities at home, gardeners walk more than three times as much, promote mental well-being through natural exposure to sunlight while tending plants outdoors etc. So gardening shouldn't just be considered something you do because you love flowers or vegetables but because it has some very real psychological effects on your life. For instance, Researchers at the University of Missouri show that children with autism who participated in a gardening program showed increased verbal and nonverbal communication skills as well as improved social interactions with other students, an excellent example of how gardening can help climate change for the better by improving our ability to relate to those around us. Gardeners often feel happier when they work in their garden because it provides them with an outlet for creativity, physical exercise, and mental stimulation.
Gardeners often feel happier when they work in their garden because it provides them with an outlet for creativity, physical exercise, and mental stimulation. Working outside does many things to a gardener's mind that just can't be achieved from inside an office or home. The sense of accomplishment one feels after working hard on the plants is incomparable with any other activity. Working out in nature also has positive effects on memory and emotional stability and is suitable for your heart. Gardening gives you access to free therapy without needing years of training. It doesn't matter how much space you have available. There are always ways to create gardens wherever you live, even if all that room is around your house or building. Finally, a little time spent outdoors makes us feel like a healthy and happy person. Although gardening may seem like a relaxing activity, don't forget that it also burns calories. Gardening is one of the best calorie burning exercises you can choose and suitable for your heart and mental health. What's more rewarding than growing delicious vegetables from scratch? And how about those beautiful flowers blooming in springtime to make us feel refreshed after winter, or during any time? The earth provides all we need. Excellent materials naturally renewable or biodegradable, so there is never an issue with the disposal. In addition, plants grow on their own, they're free. What could be better than knowing what kinds of plants thrive anywhere in North America without having to pay someone else for them when they die out? Buying organic produce will lower your carbon footprint because it doesn't require as much energy to the farm. You will lower your carbon footprint by buying organic produce. Organic farms are more sustainable because they require less energy than traditional farming methods and use regenerative practices to replenish natural resources. Organic farmers don't add chemical fertilizers, pesticides, or herbicides to their soil to grow crops so the land can regenerate over time. Plus, because there's no need for those harsh chemicals, organically grown plants have a higher nutrient content which means you're getting bigger servings with fewer calories. And when it comes time to eat that delicious salad, wash your greens before adding them into your bowl instead of reaching for bottled dressing, or better yet, make it yourself. This will cut down on waste from plastic bottles as well as emissions caused by us. If you have room, plant more trees in your yard. Trees are vital to the ecosystem for many reasons, but it is especially important to see how global warming has shifted our climate. As trees take up carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, they also release oxygen back into it, a necessary supplement that people can't create themselves, or at least not enough. The right kind of tree will also help keep your house cool by blocking out some heat from coming through windows while still letting light in. Plant ground cover like ivy or other plant life that has long roots below them to soak up water during rainfall events and trapping moisture before the rain hits pavement, where it might be washed away instead. These types of plants would likely need watering. Composting is an easy way to create fertilizer and reduce waste. Composting is an easy way to create fertilizer and reduce waste. It also recycles food that would otherwise be thrown away, so you're doing your part for the environment while saving money on groceries. When it comes time to put out compose-able materials in your bin, try a kitchen scrap recycling system in which you place all organic produce scraps into a designated container, like an old milk carton, until complete. Then transfer the contents of this bin outside each week as part of your regular garbage routine. One literal step at a time. Make sure not to rake leaves or other plant material up off lawns during autumn leaf cleanup season. This can lead to increased carbon emissions from decomposition under warm conditions if not disposed of properly. Mature trees are more effective at cooling down your house and reducing the need for air conditioning than younger ones, so if you can afford a large tree to plant in an area that gets total sun exposure, it's worth considering. Get out into nature as often as possible. This doesn't have to be through gardening but rather by walking or biking on trails outside during warmer months. This will help reduce stress levels while also improving overall physical health. Think about how much time we spend these days indoors. Keep up with local workshops and service providers who offer tips on perm culture systems design. There is no better way to learn how to grow food sustainably than from experts themselves.